Hello my beautiful Capricorns and welcome to the Ebony Tarot. Today we're going to be doing your love reading. We're going to be seeing what's coming towards you in love. Thank you all so much for your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. Um, if any of you would like to book a reading with me, please do not hesitate. All the information on how to do so is in the description box below. Um, if you'd like to follow my art account to purchase anything or to um, know about my upcoming art deck this is all my art all around me all the information is in the description box below okay um if you are new here welcome how i read is i channel through the oracle i clarify with the tarot and if there was time we get additional information at the end okay please do remember that the energies can go vice versa and they can be interchangeable so just take what resonates if the shoe fits lace it up wear it change the gender switch the roles do whatever you gotta do okay Right, so what's coming towards you in love? We have the overall energy as wild card. It says ab abstract, unpredictable, art, multifaceted, and museums. And at the bottom of the deck, we have sadness. It says hurt, betrayal, emotional, sensitive, honoring your feeling. Someone else got the sadness card, but I can't remember who it was. But um, okay, so you could uh, some of you could be an artist, or you could be dealing with someone who's um artistic, or someone who's got many different talents. Okay, um, it could be performing arts as well, like actresses, singers, dancers, um, poets, um, it, um, seamstress. I just heard, but it could be anybody. Okay, um, I feel like you could have removed yourself from this per person to focus on your talents. Okay, and this person is feeling really sad without you, okay? There could have been a, some sort of betrayal or something that happened between you both, okay? I also feel like someone is very unpredictable here. So somebody might come out of the woodworks because they can't um, get a hold of their feelings, okay? Underneath that, we do have wise, planning, meticulous, careful, and delays with the slow and steady. Somebody could have been too slow here with a commitment. Somebody could have been slow to... um. Yeah, to want to commit to you. So you were like, well, fuck it, I'm out. I've got things to do, people to see, places to go. You could be really um, thriving in your career. Some of you can be on entrepreneurs or you could just be following your dreams. And someone is really upset about this. Like someone feels like there's too much time went past or they, um, they didn't put enough time and effort into the situation, okay? Right, but we'll see. What's coming towards my beautiful Capricorns in love? Okay, yeah, I just said that some of you could have followed your career path and look at that right there. Okay, it says find your path. Okay, I also feel like somebody definitely wants to come and find their way back to you. But I definitely feel like you left somebody behind. You know, this card kind of reminds me of um, the two of wands. So it's like leaving things behind, leaving things behind, leaving things behind and focusing on your future and making the right decision. Okay, so this is you. Yeah, literally, I said focusing on your dreams at the bottom of the deck. We've got your dreams. You see how she's looking towards her dreams right there? Someone also definitely couldn't be thinking and fantasizing about you. Okay, what's coming towards my beautiful 0303? As I said that, what's coming towards my beautiful um, Capricorn to love? I wanted to say Sagittarius, so some of you could be dealing with the Sag. What's coming towards my beautiful Capricorns, please and thanks. There we go. We've got back to basics and we've got transformation at the bottom of the deck, heavy scorpionic energy. Yeah, I feel like some of you are taking it back to basics, okay? Some of you literally could have moved. So if you didn't move away from someone, you could have moved like physically, like moved homes, okay? Some of you definitely um, have got some sort of business. It could be an online business. You could be um, packaging things up or looking at products, okay? But yeah, I feel like some of you are just, you know, you're looking into your future and your future is bright. You're starting from the beginning. Literally, your future is bright. Some of you, um, I feel like, for others of you, I feel like someone could have just got up and left. And someone came home and, like, all their shit was gone. Literally. And now this person is just sitting there like, oh, my God, what happened? Okay? So somebody could have found out about a betrayal here and they, got, they, they packed up their shit and they were out. Okay? What is coming towards my beautiful Capricorn? That was, like, three cards stuck together. Woo! What do we have? Yeah, we've got love and protect yourself here. So, yeah, some of you are definitely loving and protecting yourself. You have moved away from whoever this is. Someone really could have, like, been really, um... Someone obviously done something really horrible to you. Or this could be you, you know, take it how it resonates. But you've really protected yourself from this person. So this is you and this is them. Sitting within their own misery. Okay having to start from scratch i also feel like somebody could be going through a financial hardship what do we have at the bottom of the deck we've got express myself so yeah some of you are definitely artists of some kind also i feel like somebody wants to speak to you 
so again like you might get um unexpected communication we've got long wise love at the underneath so somebody's definitely like i said i feel like somebody they didn't put the time and the effort for something to grow okay and now they're seeing you out here kind of doing your own thing and they wish that they were a part of it someone was just too slow to commit i feel but we'll see what's coming towards my beautiful um capricorns please clarify path yeah look we lost wanted to fly out i told you someone lost you man or you lost somebody else you walked away from somebody and they're sitting here like someone is literally drowning in their sorrows because you left them and they're reflecting when i mean they're watching you they're definitely watching you okay they're thinking about what they did what they said Oof, heavy regret here what's coming towards um i just saw the card of truth what's coming towards capricorns in love health yeah, so this is you, healthy, loving up on yourself. Some of you could be herbalists as well. Or you could, you could have changed your diet. You could be, um, I just heard sushi. So that might be significant to some of you. You could be eating a lot more vegetables. Or you could, this could just represent abundance. And you really giving to yourself and to your soul. Yeah, we've got spiritual soul at the bottom of the deck. Okay. I also just heard like a doctor's surgery. Somebody could be going through some sort of health issues as well. They could be like trying to get something over the counter okay this could be the person that you left but i feel like some of you left for your own health like you know your mental health all right please clarify love and protect yourself okay travel when i mean some of you move the fuck away and then we've got female guardian angel yeah definitely divinely protected okay yeah you believed in yourself and you moved away there was something that you were blinded to or that somebody was trying to keep from you i'm also hearing blinded by love but yeah the travel card came out so yeah you moved away from this person literally so like i said some of you literally packed your bags and left or this is what you need to do if you didn't move yourself away spiritually and emotionally it was definitely physical movement here okay i also feel like somebody wants to travel towards you please clarify loss what's coming towards capricorns in love We've got focus. I told you somebody's definitely watching you. They're definitely focused. Again, I feel like somebody was too focused on the sexual side of things. Okay, somebody could have been very lustful. Someone could have also had a sex addiction here. Okay, yeah, we've got embrace at the bottom of the deck. So someone was, you know, hmm, let's clarify health. Yeah, reoccurring thoughts. I told you, somebody cannot stop thinking about you. Okay? Someone cannot stop thinking about the fact that you're able to heal yourself. That you've really protect yourself, protected yourself from this person. Again, I feel like someone could have caught... I don't want to say it, but I'm hearing like STD or STI here. Because something is really... Someone's health is really on their mind here. They're thinking about natural ways that they can heal themselves. Also, this could be you spiritually healing yourself. Okay? And then we've got groom at the bottom of the deck. You could have been dealing with um, someone who was married. Maybe that's what you found out and you left. You could have found out that you were a mistress or you could have been in, in a commitment. It doesn't necessarily have to be married, but you could have been in a serious commitment with somebody. They could have been cheating on you. For some of you, please clarify travel. Or this person feels like now that they want to be committed to you. Yeah, but it's endings and beginnings here. So you put an end to something. You put an end to your past. I said that in the beginning, leaving the past behind. You see how she's holding the the um the skull? You deaded that shit. But it's like this person from the past is trying to get in your ear. And you're just like, mm, you know. Yeah, we've got date night and deception and lies here. Someone wants to, like, take you out. But they're scheming. But then this is what happened. This is what happened. This is what clarified the travel card, endings and beginnings. So you put an end to something. You protected yourself. Now you're starting your own new beginning. I feel like someone is really butthurt about this, okay? So what is coming towards my beautiful cups? That was real quick, but we want one card. This is for Capricorn. Thank you. Yeah, ten of wands. When I mean this is weighing heavy on someone's head right now. Heavy, Okay. Someone is heavily thinking about you, man. This person has got a lot of baggage and a lot of burdens. They're sitting in their own misery right now. We've got the two of cups. Some of you could have moved on to new love. This person now is in their feelings. Now they love you. Now they want you. They didn't take the relationship seriously. Jesus Christ. When I mean eight of swords and reoccurring thoughts, I feel like someone is being really um 
tantalized by the divine not tantalized they're being um tormented is the word i wanted to say someone finds you tantalizing this person is being tormented by the divine they're being tormented by their own karma i just heard as well like i said someone feels stuck so someone is definitely going someone's karma here is something to do with their health okay yeah the five of wands because they put you in some sort of competition here someone could have caught something also someone is very jealous that you've moved on too many cards what is coming towards my beautiful cup of coins in love okay the nine of cups wanting to come out yeah so you're following your dreams your wish fulfillment emperor you are the boss some of you are definitely entrepreneurs and you see there's a woman in this card in the emperor card so some of you could be female bosses you could have really tapped into your masculine side and you're really taking over like you're taking over shit like you know like I said, some of you are definitely packing up, um, packaging things, okay? Yes, look at that underneath. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. This is you guys working on your projects. I did, I think I said seamstress. I'm sure I said I heard seamstress, okay? Okay, but you're a boss. But, you know, if you're a guy watching this, you're a boss-ass bitch. You, you moved away from somebody who was toxic. Now they want you back, okay? And like I said, you're following your dreams. This, this equates to wish fulfillment. Someone is definitely fantasizing about you, but you see how she's there. She's loving and she's protecting herself. She's going after her new beginnings. So this is really beautiful energy. So I feel like you're just, you're really um, independent on your own. And I feel like somebody isn't. Someone from your past is extremely stressed out without you. Extremely stressed. Please clarify the 10 of ones. Yeah, we've got the body here. Mind, body and spirit is not in alignment. Whereas I feel like you kind of really released yourself. I mean, this is the world here. You, you took yourself off and you were like, bye, I'm going. Okay? Followed the divine. Mother Earth here. Definitely beautiful empress and emperor energy here. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Libra. Now somebody thinks the world of you. Now the person has got the world on their shoulders. They feel like they're carrying the weight of the world, literally. Because they were focused on the wrong things. Okay, yeah. But like I said, mind, body, soul, spirit. Did I not just say that? Some of you are definitely child, the child of the divine. Some of you definitely have a son. Please clarify the eight of swords. What is coming towards my beautiful? Yeah, we've got the seven of swords. So yeah, like I said, somebody done something here. They're tra they've trapped themselves in their own web of lies. We've got the eight of swords to the seven of swords. Heavy air sign energy here. Could be dealing with a Libra, Ari um, Aquarius or Gemini. Someone is thinking about what it is that they did, okay? Someone, like I said, because this is the cut, this is the, um, the Seven of Swords talks about lying, stealing, and cheating. So someone could have cheated and they caught something. That is really coming heavy. Yes, we've got justice at the bottom of the deck. Someone caught themselves in the web of their own lies. Did I not just say that? This is this person's karma. Someone's going through karma right now. Please clarify the Nine of Cups. The Ten of Cups, beautiful energy with the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And you see, the Three of Pentacles, that's normally like people, collaborations, people working with you, okay? People admiring and adoring you. But you see, she's sitting pretty and someone's doing all the work at the back. This is you guys. Some of you will have people working for you, but your, your abundance is looking bright and prosperous, okay? Beautiful energy. Someone here lying, cheating, and stealing. I don't know what the fuck they did, but they're going through some serious karma right now, okay? The nine of cups to the ten of cups, emotional wish fulfillment and happiness. This is beautiful energy. Could be dealing with a water sign as well. We've got heavy water placements and heavy air here with a bit of fire. Okay, this was a very quick reading. We're only on 30 minutes. So goodness me, this was very to the point. Quickest reading I think I've done. New beginning wanted to fly out. Like I said, some of you have got a new beginning. Some of you have got new love coming towards you because you ended a situation with somebody else. Okay? Gorgeous energy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep, speak up. You, sp you spoke up for yourself. You stood up for yourself and you left. Okay? Yeah, you left. Let it go. Literally. You let someone go. Now they can't stop thinking about you. Okay. What's coming towards my beautiful Capricorns? It says, I create the necessary time and space for me to rest, restore, and renew my strength. Let's pull you some more. 1444, as I said that, because this reading was real quick. Well, it's quick for me. <laughs> okay. I'm like, am I missing some cards here? 
No. I remove myself from all distractions and feed my mind positive thoughts daily. Yeah, you removed yourself from somebody. Literally, you deaded some shit. You're abundant. You're healthy. You're beautiful. You're working on your coins. Wish fulfillment. The Ten of Cups. The Nine of Cups. Clarified by the Ten of Cups. That's beautiful energy, Capricorns. And at the bottom of the deck, we got, I am intentional. I am on purpose. I protect my energy and use it for good. I mean, I'm going to pull you something else because... You know, this is all what's coming towards Capricorns. What else do they need to know? This was very, very to the point, Cappies. Jesus Christ, I like it. I like it. I like it. Magic. Believe in your own magic. You are extremely powerful. And then we got inner peace. Yeah, you protected yourself for your inner peace. Beautiful reading, beautiful energy, very quick. That that's that is it, and that is all. <laughs> If you liked the reading or you felt like it resonated, please do not hesitate to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All the information on how to do everything is in the description box below, okay? Thank you so much, guys, and toodles!